Okay, so I'm just gonna run through the image sampler and how you can create some cool kind of effects with that. Uh, it's pretty basic, so at the moment I just have an ellipse, pop that into a duplicator, and I've just the size mode set to fit, and I've got a count of 50. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring in our image sampler. And with our image sampler, we can then just drag our image into it. And then we can connect this output into the ellipse shape. And I'm just going to come into fill color. Okay, so in our image sampler here, we've got the option for scale. So I'm just holding down Alt and dragging it so it's a little bit bigger. And once we've got the right scale, we can just hit hide. So the issue that um, we're trying to solve here is that if I come into my shape position and add a noise, you can see that no matter what happens, the, the texture doesn't really stick with it. So what we can do instead is jump into our duplicator and add a sub mesh and also add a noise and we'll just add a noise here okay so now what this is going to do is it's going to move everything around completely which is pretty cool so you can just add your fall offs and do what you want and it's all working pretty nicely as you can see here if i hit spacebar the frame rate is not too good. Yes, yeah, so the frame rate is not too good. So just to create a proxy for this, I'm just going to jump into Duoco, hit this, and then turn it on. And then it's just dropped it down. And then we've got real time playback of this, which is pretty cool. So we can just toggle between those two states. Um, another thing we can do here is we can just drag this image sampler into the scale which is also pretty cool to tweak that a little bit we could use a number range if we wanted to and the number range connects into the scale replace and we'll replace the value and once we jump into our number range we can just tweak this however however we want just have a bit of a play around and uh, see where you go i'm gonna add behavior mixer if i pop it in here and i'll put the noise position there i'll just click it in here replace connection and then I'll add another one and I'll add an oscillator Oop. that's a bit confusing and I'll just crank that up a little bit put a stagger on it make it a bit smaller actually 0.05 And uh, yeah, be sure to have a bit of a play around with some of these and see how you go. Cool, that was uh, short and sweet. I uh, hope that helped out. Cool, thanks for watching.